GitHub has released a new firmware for the Git2 camera, uh, which beside uh, a lot of improvements, it also uh, brings an option to calibrate the IMI sensor to reduce or remove completely the hot pixels, which is an issue that appears in uh, very dark conditions, in uh, very low light situations. Uh, to do that, you need to follow this guide. Uh, we will going to need a white piece of paper, a powerful uh, light source. I'm using a LED lamp that you can see here varying its intensity. Uh, I'm also using a black lens cap which does not light, let light pass. And also I'm going to use some uh, microfiber cloth to uh, cover the lens to be sure that no light will uh, get to it. Alright, so to move on, first you need to have the battery fully charged and uh, the camera is better to be a bit warmed. I have uh, kept mine near the vent of the laptop to make it a bit uh, hotter. It's very important to do that. To initiate the setup, you need to connect the camera to the PC and open uh, its SD card. You do not need to format the content, you only need to create in the root of the SD card a new text file called ENG mode from engineering and you are going to delete its extension, the TXT extension and I'm going to confirm, yes, right, so now I'm going to disconnect the camera from the USB port I'm going to take the cable out I'm going to put the paper close I'm going to power on the camera and we get into this menu it's very important just to follow these steps and not to enter other settings as uh, you may break your camera first option is the format SPI, this will delete the current uh, image sensor calibration, I'm going to select it, after uh, formatting SPI I'm going to select uh, DP Bright Adjust, I'm going to remove the cap, I'm going to power on the lamp at full intensity. And before I confirm this with uh, the shutter button, I'm going to put the camera oriented to the white paper and I'm going to be sure that there is no shadow in front of the lens, so it will only see white. And I'm going to press the, the shutter button and I'm going to wait for the confirmation menu that I'm going to show it to you. Can see press ok to continue which i'm not going to do i'm going to cover on the lens i'm going to turn the light off and i'm going to cover on the camera very good and now i'm going to let it sit for at least 10 minutes you can leave it up to 30 minutes to be sure if you are afraid that the battery will uh, run out you can uh, connect the USB cable back to keep the battery charged but I'm not going to do that I do not want to interfere to bring a static noise so I'm just going to let it for 10 minutes and I'm also putting it next to the exhaust of my laptop just to keep it warm and I'm going to come back in 10 minutes time has uh, passed the camera is hot and uh, now I'm going to press the shutter button to confirm that I'm going to calibrate it. The camera uh, needs to be kept in uh, complete darkness. And you can see now that it's doing the calibration. I'm going to press the shutter button again. This bright pass is 
finished okay. and re it returns to the previous menu now using the mode button which navigates up and down through the menu I'm going to select this time the dark adjust I'm going to remove the last cap I'm going to power on the light again at maximum and I'm going to press the shutter button and I'm going to keep the camera on the white piece of paper it has the same confirmation message here and I'm keeping it still oriented in the same direction and I'm going to confirm it by pressing the shutter button again and now I'm going to wait for it to display the same confirmation message that you have uh, seen before You may see something here on the screen. And we get the confirmation message. Press OK to continue. And now the calibration is complete. I'm going to power off the camera, keeping the button pressed. And I'm going to remove the SD card and I'm going to delete the file that we have previously created. I'm going to insert the card into the reader. And let's delete the file. Okay. And safely disconnect it. Now I can Put it back into the camera and do a hot pixel test which I'm going to add and uh, you will see that all those nasty white pixels are now gone. Bye bye!